Hey guys, we are back and um, we're recording one Fire Emblem. Um, I skipped the cutscene before before the the base, and I already did all my preparations, by the way. So, but I can sum it up for you guys. Um, basically, what happened was they went to Mufasa, the Garden King, and they talked a bit. And like they were like hoping we could just stay here, but because of of I don't know what to call it political reasons, I guess um we can't stay here. So they're sending us back to Crimea, and yeah, that's basically what happened. Well, they did give us some money, so I guess. But anyways, I already did all my preparations, so um. The world map again. This will probably sum up everything that I just said. And we will watch these because when I talked about um um whether or not to keep the cutscenes, I had more people vote to keep them than I had, you know, not to keep them. So if you don't like them, I'm sorry. You should have spoke up. The people who wanted them did so. But anyways, um, we did get a plan, but I think they're going to talk about it first, like in the cutscene before. Um, the plan is that we're supposed to sneak into a port town in Crimea, and then take a ship to Begnion, which is like the largest country on the continent. So, yeah, honestly, it was kind of just... You know, here's some money, we hope you don't die. And yeah, there's the, the, the path that we're going to. That's a long boat ride. But hey, you know, Renolf is with us, so... They didn't leave us entirely empty-handed, but still, I mean... They're practically sending us to our deaths, sending us back to Crimea. I mean, Grail died just to get us here, and they're just going to send us back. But, you know, while we're on the way back... Well, you'll see. They have this, uh, prison right here. Oh, sorry, had to get a drink. Um, so, here we are at uh, level 10. This is the uh, prison level. And now there are, th there are two ways to do this level. Which I will explain when it actually starts because they're not done talking yet. We're also going to get a uh, new unit right now. And three more at the end of the level if you do things right. And this is our, our first new character that we'll be getting. That is um Volk and he is a thief. And Grail hired Volk for something. But he wants 50,000 gold before he will tell you what Grail wanted him to find out. Hmm. 
But wait. Hiram. And he joins us. Now I'm not very crazy about Thief characters because, you know, you only get two in the whole game, and really, out of those two, Volk is the only one worth using, but he's still not that great. So, Renolf is going to run off and leave us by our lonesome. And, let's see here, what, what I want to do, take Soren out, because I have Ilyana. Um, here's Rolf. Because Rolf is needed. Um, I really don't know if I should take Volk out or not. I would take out. Take out Titania for Lee. And. I guess that would do. I'm thinking about using Mist, but we ought to be good. Because I want to show off Volk and a Lagoose. Um, we're probably fine. Uh, I won't save. We're good. Let's go. Now, I should probably explain Lagoose that I've been um, neglecting for so long. Um, the gauge under under Leif's life bar, the it's got 20 on it right now. It has a little cat sign next to it. That is their transformation gauge. And when it gets to the top, they turn into their animal form. And to put it kind of like bluntly, the way the goose work, if they're transformed, they can kill almost anything. And if they're not transformed, almost anything can kill them. So it's kind of simple enough for you. Um, Volk, um, like I said, it's a thief. What thieves do is almost all their stats are, are fairly low, like their attack is pretty low, their defense is pretty low, but they can open doors such as this and chests without a key. And yeah. Um, and like I said, there are two ways to do this level, like if you watched the cutscene before, like they mentioned, um, like being able to sneak, like you can metal your solid your way through this level if you try hard enough. But I really don't think it's worth it. I think it's a lot more trouble than it is, so I don't ever do it. But you can. And how you do it is, you can't come within any of the soldiers' like attack range, like any of these highlighted squares. Step in one, you get seen. And yeah, it's bad. Well, I mean, it's not that bad because only reinforcements come. But watch out, because some will come right here, so you're going to want to leave a unit there. Um, I'll probably leave some people. To get the characters, um, he, Kieran, Kieran, Brom, and Nefune are all recruitable, and this guy's not. But remember that he's here, it's important for later. And to get them, just talk to Brom and Nefune with Ike. Now, Kieran will join you no matter what, so you don't have to mess with him. And that's just if you want them. And I will talk to them, talk more about them when I actually get them, so. For now, we're just going to have Leif, Maul, everybody. She's pretty good at that. I like Leif. I, I tend to use her a, a Fairly decent bit. Again, more of a personal preference kind of thing. I mean, really, you know, you don't have to use the characters I use. You use the characters that you like, that you think are worth the effort. Because that's what I do with mine. I really don't, like, listen that much to what other people say. I 
train people off of my own opinions, and you probably should too, if you're playing this game. So yeah, more people come. Like I said. And now... We battle. Yeah, I can handle it. Oosh. And... Let's see if we can get one more attack phase out of the way. Let's get Oscar to attack. And yeah. Oh, Oscar got a level up. Hurry up. But yeah, that'll about do us for this video, so... Can we break through jail? Stay tuned to find out.